Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I am doing a haul video with you today. I feel like I haven't done a haul video in forever, so I have quite a few things that I wanna share with you, including some makeup, some bras, some bathing suits, and then a new handbag that Brian bought me for Mother's Day. So I'm just gonna jump into it because seriously, I feel like this could be a long video. I have a lot to share with you guys, a lot to talk about, so I'm just gonna get started. All right, so let's start with the makeup first. Okay, I got two new concealers to test out. The first one I just got in the mail, so I did not get to try this yet, but it's the Jerda Spillman, the Biofond Concealer. So you guys know how I'm completely obsessed with the Biofond foundation. Like literally, that has been all I've been wearing, which as you guys know, I'm a foundation junkie, so that is unheard of for me. So I went back to her website and purchased the concealer because I'm really curious about the concealer, of course, because I love the foundation so much. So they only have one shade in concealer though. So, um, you know, if you are really more like a darker skin tone, this is gonna be way too light on you. So I'm really curious about how this is gonna work out. I feel like this is gonna be a good color for me because it's gonna be lighter and brighter. And I do usually go a little bit lighter with my concealer anyway, but let's see, it does, I think, yeah, it comes with a sponge as well. And then that's the concealer. So this, let me show you guys the color. That's the color of it right here. And I did just self tan, so my hands are like insanely dark right now. But I feel like this could be a really good concealer. And like I said, because I love the foundation so much, I am so excited to try this concealer. Okay, another concealer that I recently picked up, and if you've been with me for a long time, you are gonna completely laugh because I feel a little bit crazy. I ended up buying the La Mer concealer. So. A while back on my channel, I had posted a video saying like, I just did not like this concealer. It just was drying under my eyes and I just didn't like it. But I was at the mall the other day and I ended up picking it up again because now that I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit more with my makeup and the beauty blender for concealer has like changed my concealer game because it just makes your concealer go on so much more flawlessly. So I repurchased it because I was playing with it again in the mall at the counter and I was just like, God, like this concealer just feels so good and it always gets such good reviews. Like I was like, I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna test it out again with the beauty blender because back when I used to use this, I didn't use the beauty blender for my concealer. So I repurchased this and let me tell you guys, I love it. Like love it. That's the concealer that I'm wearing today. And since I've gotten it, I've just been wearing it like every day and it just conceals so well. It is not drying when you use your beauty blender. Like I remember what back when I used this without the beauty blender, it would just be drying and I felt like it just sunk into every little line and just got like creasy and all that stuff. When I use it with the beauty blender and then I've been setting it with the La Mer translucent powder, it is like flawless. So I got the shade medium, which is perfect because they do run on the lighter side to begin with. And I just have been loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, so speaking of foundations, like I told you guys, I'm still cannot put down the Jervis Billman, the Biofond foundation. Like literally cannot put it down. But I did try something new and I picked up the By Terry, the Sheer Expert. So I have the Cover Expert, I have her Denseless Serum Foundation. Her foundations are absolutely amazing. Like seriously, some of the best I've ever tried. I was really curious about the Sheer Expert because I felt like it was just gonna be like perfect for summertime too. Although I'll tell you that Biofond holds up on my skin like amazing, even in the heat. Like I just can't get over that foundation, guys. Um, but like I said, I wanted to try this one too and it's amazing. It's very like light coverage, but it makes your skin, I am not even like exaggerating, it makes your skin look really flawless. With it being more of a light coverage, it does something like magical to your skin. Like it literally is amazing. I'd say it's more of a, not matte foundation, but very natural foundation, but it's not like a dewy or glowy foundation. It just makes your skin look very natural, but it stays on your skin forever. And this would be like a perfect summer foundation for so many of you who like a lightweight foundation, but like it makes your skin look flawless. So this is one to check out for sure if you like those type of foundations. And I will do, maybe I'll do like a get ready with me and use this one so you guys can see it too, because I've been loving this one too. If I put down the Biofond, I've been reaching for this just because I have been wanting to test it out and I really like it. All right, so let's move on to some lip products. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I love it. It's the Sephora, what is this called? It's the Sephora Rouge Shine. This color is uh, number 50, I think. Is that what it says? I, these containers are like kind of weird. But this color is so pretty. Like look at this color, it's amazing. I feel like it like matches my nails. It's like a little bit of a brighter pink 
but the formula is amazing. It's more of like a shine formula, so it's a little bit more moisturizing. It doesn't have like the best wear time, you know, in the world or anything, but the color's amazing and just pop it in your purse and, you know, retouch after you eat or something. And I love it. Like, I love this color so much. It's just a perfect, brighter spring color. It looks great when you have a tan. Like I said, I just self-tanned and it just kind of like makes your lips pop. And I really am obsessed with this color. So I love that. I also picked up the Tarte, another one of these glossy lip paints because I cannot stop wearing that hella shade. Like, I am obsessed with it. So I picked up another one. This is in the shade Obvi. And it's, oh my gosh, this one's really pretty too. This one is more of a darker, not dark. It's definitely not like a darker nude, but it's darker than the Hella shade. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, these are the most amazing lip glosses. They are so good on the lips. They don't budge. They have so much pigment, like probably one of the best formulas. So this is the other one that I got. So now I have Hella and Avi and they are amazing. I did pick up another by Terry Velvet Rouge because I've been into liquid lipsticks lately and the by Terry like liquid lipsticks are one of the best formulas. So this is my second one. I have the nude one and this one is in the shade number two and it is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's more of a darker, kind of like plummy nude. It looks gorgeous, like really, really pretty. But these liquid lipsticks are some of the best. All right, so this I actually had on, I think I was wearing it in Snapchat the one time, and a lot of you were asking what I was wearing. It's actually the Chantikai. These are the lip chicks. So these are their like moisturizing formula, more like shine formula. So again, it's not like a full, full pigment, but these are so good. This is the first one I've ever tried. This is in the shade Camellia, and it is such a pretty everyday pink. So again, it's kind of like the Chanel Coco Shines. It's similar to that. I feel like these actually do have more pigment though than the Chanel ones, but that shade let me tell you, it's like the perfect everyday color, but they stay on your lips actually really well too. Every time I wear this, like it doesn't slip around too much. You know, it stays really good. So I love this color. I think this is a great formula. And I know these are super popular. Like I was reading the reviews on Nordstrom and like everybody like raves about this formula. So it's really good. Okay, I picked up another Chanel La Volume Day Chanel mascara, guys. The Marc Jacobs, which one was this again? The Velvet Noir. We just didn't work out together. We didn't work out, we broke up. He was not a good match for me. Like, I know so many people love this mascara, but every time I would wear it, I would walk past the mirror and I would have flakes underneath my eyes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I never get that issue with like any mascara. So I would try it again, I'm like, maybe it's just my eyes that day, I have no idea. And every single time I would wear this mascara, I would have like flakes under my eyes. So. I am just going back to the Chanel because this is my favorite. I am just going to keep using it and my eyelashes will just get readjusted to it and re-fall in love because I just cannot be without this mascara. I think it was just my eyelashes being like, no, no, we reject you, you're coming off. So yes, I picked up another one of these and I am now using this again. I just, I can't be without it. All right, I picked up a new product. This is just out in the, I believe like spring and summer collection of the Dolce & Gabbana. This is the shimmer powder. It's the dewy creamy powder for your cheeks and eyes. So it comes in like the same type of little container that my Dolce & Gabbana, the nude mono cream eyeshadow, the one that I use as my base every single day. It comes in like the same little container, but this one is a beautiful shimmer, like insanely pretty. So you can use this on your eyes and you can use it on your cheeks as like a highlighter. And I need something to dip in here because like I cannot get my, maybe I can. Maybe I can get a little bit on here. Look at this color, it's so pretty. Like, I can never get my finger into these. I just always have to get my brush to get the product out. So let me just dig in here a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you how gorgeous this is. It is so pretty. I wore this as a highlighter the other day and oh my gosh, seriously like heaven on the cheekbones. Bring out the cheekbones that you never knew you had this highlighter is amazing. All right, so I picked up the YSL. This is the Shocking Eyeliner. This eyeliner is really, really good. You guys know I'm in love with the Tom Ford Liquid Eyeliner, but this one I was just kind of playing with and it's really amazing. It's got a super long point. Can you guys see that? And it just like is the easiest line. It draws thick lines, thin lines. It's more of a matte black and it is super, super easy to use. Like so insanely easy and I love 
these type of like more matte liquid liners. I don't like a shiny liquid liner. This is like the perfect one. It's just, you know, matte but natural and it gives a thicker thin line, like you just can't go wrong. And it also doesn't budge like at all, all day. So if you're looking for a good liquid liner, this one I would definitely check out. That's the YSL, the shocking one. All right, so I have a MAC blush. My sister was here the other weekend visiting from out of town and we kind of did some makeup exchanges. She had a couple products that she didn't want anymore that she handed over to me and then I handed her a couple products. So she gave me this and I've been really loving it. It's the MAC Mineralized Blush in Cosmic Force. It's like one of those blush colors that you would think, and I hate these cases, they're so hard to open now. It's like one of those color blushes that looks like absolutely nothing in the pan. It just like, looks like it would not even show up. It's kind of like Burberry earthy. You know how it's like that nude, but it makes your cheeks look amazing? It's like that, and I love the MAC Mineralized Blushes. It's like my favorite blushes of MAC, and this one, like I said, I just self-tanned my hand, and they're like, insanely dark right now. So hopefully you guys will be able to kind of see this. It just looks amazing on the cheeks. Can you guys see that? See how it's just that perfect, perfect nude tone. And then when you put it on your cheeks and you blend it in with like your bronzer, it just gives like a very natural effect to your makeup. So I love colors like this. And like I said, I love the Burberry Earthy, which is like similar to this, although I really, really love the MAC Mineralized Formula. So this is a good one. All right, so Cover FX actually sent me this foundation. It's the Total Cover Cream Foundation, and I was so excited to get this because I've been obsessed with like cream foundations ever since I found the Biofon, which is like more of that cream foundation. I've been obsessed. So when they sent this to me, I was like, oh yes, I cannot wait to try this and see how it works and see if it's similar to that. This one is awesome, guys. So I've worn it like two or three times now. It comes in the, the similar type of compact and I applied it the same way as I do the Biofon. I took my beauty blender and then just applied it like that. This is really good, amazing coverage as well. I'd say it's definitely like a medium coverage, but this one I felt actually kind of made my skin more matte than the Biofon. The Biofon gives like a beautiful natural glow. This one was actually more mattifying on my skin, which kind of shocked me because a lot of times cream products will give you that glow, you know, to your skin. But this one really was more matte on my skin, but it held up awesome. It looked really good throughout the day. Um, if you want to see this one in action in a get ready with me, I don't know, you guys decide. What do you want to see in a get ready with me? Do you want to see the By Terry Sheer Expert or do you want to check out the Cover FX, the cream foundation? Let me know and let me know in the comments and I will use one of these in my get ready with me. So I did restock some of my Kerastas products. I restocked the Kerastas Initial Lease because I'm almost out of mine and I never let it run out. This is the one that I showed you guys a bunch of different times. It's like in the dropper. I put it down my scalp when my hair is damp and I kind of massage it into my scalp. No joke at all. This makes your hair grow faster. It makes your scalp healthier. So you just will noticeably see like healthier hair and it just grows so much faster because you are keeping your scalp just like really health healthy. It's basically like what they say is it's like, it's like skincare for your hair because it's just really keeping your scalp healthy and you will seriously see your hair grow faster. Like when I go to get my roots done, I swear I'm in there so much more often and we always joke, we're like, it's the Kerastase, like you wouldn't be here as often if you weren't using that, but you have to use it because it's just so healthy for your hair. Like I use this every single time I take a shower. So I absolutely love this. I will never ever be without this. So I picked up some more of that. And then I also picked up more of the Kerastase, the dual chamber serum that I love. I'm like, the dual chamber serum that I love because this again will give you the softest, softest hair. Every time I use this, my hair just gets super soft. Like I'm drying my hair and it feels so good, you know, like it's not dry. It just puts health back into your hair. I just run it along like the ends and like the straight, like the mid length to the ends of my hair. And it's amazing. Like another serum that I love for my hair. I don't use very many products on my hair, but the ones that I do use, I am like completely obsessed with, like cannot live without, and this is one of them. Okay, so that was all the makeup and some hair care. I'm gonna show you guys some bras that I picked up because they are amazing. So this first one, okay, this is not like the sexiest bra at all, but let me tell you, it's the most comfortable bra you will ever wear. And when I'm wearing like a t-shirt, like a white t-shirt or, you know, just an everyday t-shirt, like I 
want to have like kind of like that t-shirt bra you know you want like everything to look round and smooth you don't want to see bumps you just want everything to like look good under a t-shirt this is the bra so this oh my gosh this bra is so amazing like i said it's not the sexiest bra it does come in other colors but i picked up the nude because i like to wear it under like white t-shirts this bra is amazing it's by the brand walk walk hole and i never heard of that brand before but i'm like obsessed with their stuff now so it's very 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 soft it doesn't i got the un this one doesn't have any underwire but it still supports you so well the thing that i love about these two is that when i found these they have like every bra size possible like goes up to like i don't know gosh it went up to like g or something like that so it has like such a wide variety of different sizes and the reviews on this even though it has you know it's a wireless bra people were saying that it gives the best support and it really does so i love this really really love this for like an everyday t-shirt bra like it really just makes everything look good and just keeps everything just looking good so it's a great bra okay and now this bra is just like life-changing like life-changing bra so as you know, I've talked about this in some other videos, like bra strapless bras and me just do not mesh. I can never find one that stays up. Like I will start walking around and five minutes later, it's like down by my belly button. It's so annoying. Okay, this is where this one comes into play. This is another one of those walk hole bras and this stays up. Like you have no issues with it falling down. It's the, I've never seen anything like it. It's the most comfortable strapless bra. It doesn't go anywhere and I love it. So it actually comes with straps, but you obviously can take them off to make it strapless and it is so comfortable, you guys. If you are looking for a strapless bra and like struggle with them as so many of us do, you need to check this out. They are really, really amazing. And both of these I got in my true to size. When I was reading a lot of the reviews before I purchased these, a lot, some people were saying you had to go like up a size, I forget, or down to size, but mine, I just stayed true to size and they're perfect. So uh, that's my, you know, two cents on the sizing, but they are amazing. And this strapless bra for the summer is just going to be a lifesaver. All right. So speaking of t-shirts, I picked up this t-shirt because it's so cute. And if you guys saw in my past video, I wore that t-shirt. It said squad. It's the same brand. I'm obsessed with like their t-shirts. They're just really cute. And I picked up this one that says kale crew. Like how cute is that? Like it's so fun. And I just love these with like jeans. And I just, I thought this one was so cute. Like kale crew. So cute. So I picked up two bathing suits because it is that time of year again and we are putting a pool in our backyard. I picked up a one piece suit and I, one piece is I'm just, I don't know, I never feel like I can find a good one piece suit, but I want to wear a one piece when, you know, more I'm around my kids or my kids' friends are over. I don't wanna be walking around in a bikini, you know, around all their friends all the time. So. This one piece is adorable and even Brian loved it. So it's really cute, it's black. Can you see how it's got like a kind of meshy cutout detail, you know, on the front and then on the sides, it's got these cute cutouts too. So it actually looks really pretty on and then it just wraps around, you know, your neck like that. But I was impressed. The suit's really cute on, it fit really good. Like I really liked it because it was like appropriate looking but it wasn't too like, boring or you know it just still looked you know girly and still made you feel like good like i said when i bought it i wasn't sure about it but when i put it on i was like oh i really like it and i showed brian he's like that's not bad so i really like it it's gonna be perfect again for the summer this bathing suit now this is a bikini but i really like this one the bottom is by i bought a different brand bottom from the top but i really like this bottom like how cute i love the colors it's just fun bright colors it's got like the open straps on this on the side but i just love it like i love these bright colors so i got these bottoms and then on another brand i found this top and it's so cute like, you can kind of like put it on like as a you know like wrap it around here i'll just show you guys so you like wrap it around like this and then what happens is you tie it and now i have a bra on so this is going to look really small it actually fits really well but you tie it and then you tie it around like your back like this. So yeah, this looks very odd and it's doing no justice, but I'm telling you, it looks really good. So then it ties around the back. So you just have like such a cute tie, you know, around for the bathing suit. It's really cute. Okay, so moving on to my last two things. These are both gifts from Brian that he picked up for me. He was actually in Beverly Hills and he went to Rodeo Drive and did some shopping before Mother's Day. And he got me something from... Hermes, or as we like to joke, we still like to call it Hermes, because if you guys remember, that's what Brian like literally thought it was. He came home with this for me. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. 
It is this cuff. Oh, I love it so much. Look at this cuff. It's so beautiful. And what it does, oh, it's this, this is the front of it right here. It's awesome. So it kind of slides open like this and then you pull this up and then like, well, I'm not going to put it on right now, but like, look at that. How gorgeous is that? It's like kind of like a, I think the color was graphite. So it's like a dark gray. Like it's amazing. So that was a nice little surprise by him. I totally did not no, he was going there. So that was such a sweet little surprise. I love that. And then, you guys, I had told you this on Snapchat. I didn't show you this on Snapchat yet. I was going to, but I'm going to show you guys now. He went to Chanel on Rodeo Drive, and he said as soon as he walked in there, he's like, he saw this bag, and he was like, that's it. Like, that's the one. He knows me so well, as do you guys. What are my favorite colors? What's my favorite color combination? White and gold. Like, that's what I say about the Tom Ford packaging. It's that white and gold. Oh, I just love it. So he saw this and he just was like, he just, he just knew. He just knew right away. So this is their limited edition that just came out for the summer. This boy bag. I mean, oh, like does that like not just take your breath away? Like it's so pretty. So yes, he picked this up for me for Mother's Day. And of course, I just absolutely love it. It's stunning. I actually have not even worn it yet. I've been waiting to show you guys, but here it is. I mean, it's just oh, it's so pretty. Like I, I do not have any like white bags. So this is just, it's beautiful. And while I'm standing, I'll show you guys. This is that dress. I love this dress. I showed you guys this in a fashion haul um, not too long ago. But this is that dress, I'm completely obsessed with it. It just has a little tie waist, it has pockets, like obsessed. So I wanted to show this to you because I did show this in a haul and I figured now I'll show it to you while it's on. So that is it for today's haul. I feel like I've literally been talking for like an hour now. And if you are still watching, thank you so much. I feel like this video might be a little bit long. But I just wanted to share this all with you. Like I said, I haven't done a haul for a little bit, so kind of things were building up here. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you want to see some more hauls. And also subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.